Let's I'm going to cook a little uh, Middle Eastern style uh, with these cow peas and a uh, little garlic, onions, sliced Idaho potato. Why is that going in there? That's going to add body. You want to, by the time it's finished, you won't even see the potato, but it'll give it a little body. And then I'm going to use atar and sumac. Uh, Lebanese cooking, Syrian, whatever, they use that over there. And no stock, because we have the flavor of the celery, the carrots, and the peppers, and the beef. You know, this beef, it happened to say on it, beef shoulder steak. But please, when you see the word steak, and it comes from the shoulder, don't expect to have a nice tender piece of meat. Well, I'm dicing it up about this size, and I'm going to saute it. And if you look at the beef, and if you think that this is a steak that's going to be tender, you're crazy. Where's the marbling in there? There isn't any. A shell steak, piece of filet mignon, the diaphragm piece, a uh, couple of other London, nah, even London broil isn't that great. So this is only good for braising, and that's what it's going to be used for today. All of this, saute, let me get going with this. It's an easy recipe. The most time involved is just dicing up all the vegetables. Cutting up the meat, the garlic I'm throwing in whole, because I want to see pieces at the end. But if you don't want it, just dice it up. And uh, that's it. So let's get started with the cooking part of it. The flame's on, fairly high. Just coat the bottom. Olive oil. Put the beef. The garlic and after I stir that for a second. I'm gonna add all the rest of the vegetables. I don't care too much about making the meat very, very brown. But when you have some color on it, it has a better flavor. It already smells good. High flame. So this doesn't uh, steam but you know sautés okay gonna add a few more things now get this going here Here's the, I put the za'atar and the sumac in with the onions. Give this a whirl. And right away you're going to smell those seasonings. Nice. I could have put this in a uh, crock pot, but sometimes... <clears throat> You don't want to wait that long for an item to finish cooking. That has a nice, mmm, nice aroma. And now, the rest of the vegetables. So in a way, this is giving me like a, a vegetable stock, somewhat of a vegetable stock. simple it's simple but if you put you have to put the right ratio of the things in there to make it taste good and everything that's in this is going to help the flavor 
I don't have to put salt in now because this is going to simmer easy for a couple of hours. <clears throat> and there, I'm sure there is some salt in the atar. And now, the last two items are going to go in there. little bit more sauteing to get the flavors going here. Water, there's the sliced potato. So that's going to disintegrate. And we're going to add more water because, of course, <clears throat> we have the chickpeas. And if you're not satisfied with just using water, and you happen to want a very strong stock, if that's what you prefer, you can just add it instead of water. A beef stock. The only thing is, <clears throat> unless you make your own stock, you got some. Uh, preservatives in there and other items that you don't know what they are and that's why everything that's in here is all natural nothing man-made and just covered it like so when this comes to a boil I'm going to cut it down and simmer it and check in about an hour just to check the taste to see if I have to add any more of those uh, za'atar or sumac and salt also and maybe pepper but I'll give this a chance to cook so no reason to waste film now let this come to a boil simmer it cover it come back in an hour See you later. I know I said I'll wait an hour, but I go, you know what? Let me check to see how this is reducing. And it's reducing. So we're going to just cover everything again with a quart of water. Now at this point, that, that's been 45 minutes. Now I'll come back in an hour and I'll go and do some work around the house. all done this is about an hour and a half and most every piece of potato has been dissolved some I put on here and just pressed it and that's why we have this nice thickness plus I'm gonna have this with wild rice take one cup of this is like plenty for me and the amount <clears throat> I'll put how many quarts it makes in the uh, description. Then I'm going to have some wild rice. That's it. There's a meal for me, which I'm going to enjoy right now, and I hope you do too.